restock groceries at some point. Some supermarkets are taking some new steps to protect customers and employees. Becky Worley has the details. One of the most basic daily tasks has become a lot more complicated. What are best practices for getting and cleaning groceries? Grocery delivery seems like the perfect solution. I think contactless delivery is a great option as it helps us with practicing social distancing. I order some basics. Well, we're suggesting that the app allows you to tip to do that. So you have no contact with the delivery person. That was easy. There's just one problem. These delivery services are slammed, and getting a time slot scheduled is really tough. So this may have to consider really planning um, far out in advance. Instacart just announcing they plan to hire 300,000 new shoppers in the next three months to alleviate this. Amazon Pantry temporarily suspending service to restock and handle demand. So that means some of us need to head out to the store. We say go early. We also say bringing your own disinfectant wipes. Wipe down your cart, and Consumer Reports recommends using your credit card and wiping it down after your purchase. But when it comes to wearing a mask to the store, the CDC advises people not to wear face masks unless they're sick or caring for someone who is ill. How about gloves? The key is being able to put them on and take them off um, effectively without contaminating yourself after you use them. So maybe just take some hand sanitizer with you to the store instead. Now, once you get your groceries, some special handling instructions. Right now, we don't have any clear data that it's living on packages for a prolonged period of time. But experts say throw the bags in your recycling bin, wipe the counter, and wash your hands to be safe. Adjusting to our new domestic reality, one grocery bag at a time. Hi-Vee is looking to hire hundreds of temporary workers to help restock all those shelves.